How's everyone doing out there? Avris here playing Super Robot Wars again, picking up where we left off last time. So I spent the money, upgraded some mechs, upgraded some pilot skills. All very boring routine. So we're going to continue on and we are now in low Terran orbit. And let's see. So to recap, uh, weird issues happening. They're apparently taking over our pilots, our mechs, everything's going sideways. And somehow the 10 of us are the only people capable of saving the day. Like every RPG. Oh, and Ing, male, good to know. He has that like ambiguous look where, could go 50-50, never know. I was appearing at this timing, do you mean this time? Dark brain, mother brain's evil cousin. The L5 campaign, all right, L5 campaign. Once again, please pause the video if you want to read all that. I am not going through all that. This is Final Fantasy 13 levels of reading stuff to get the story. Is this all related to the moon people from the beginning? Because we have not seen hide nor hair of those guys in like two hours. No, he's just that dense. He's got a good heart, though. Brain-shaped computer. It is a brain-shaped computer? That's what dark brain is? Ah, oh, fine. Okay. Makes kind of sense. Oh, come on. What's he trying to do on Earth? I don't know. Get revenge for his boss? Conquer everything? What, what do evil a-holes always do in these games? G-compatible Kaiser. Yeah, I was going to ask the same damn question. Oh, it's a super robot. Roll credits. Made you to fight him. Wait, it was made to fight him. Why is he looking for it? Oh, thank God. Order's been issued. Okay, if we're gonna go, oh, we're about to enter orbit. Okay, and I, oh, I also equipped some of the stuff I found last time. So like that screw module that actually allows us to get really good ratings on over the sea, because apparently that affects your mobility in this game. Well, it should. But we've only been fighting in space, so we've had limited mobility and terrain uh, interference. I always love these strategy RPG strategy games like this one. I mean, uh, the earliest one I can remember ever playing was a little gem on the Genesis called War Song, and that thing. I went back and played it recently on an emulator because I couldn't hook my Genesis up to my TV because it's a Genesis and this is 2016. But um, I mean, it, it's still really fun, but it's dated as hell. But like that, it really got me into this kind of a genre, and it was a really fun game. It. it I mean, it was part of the Lagranzier, Lagran I can't ever pronounce that, Lagranzier uh, series of games. I think a new one just came out on the DS, the 3DS. I didn't pick that one up though, but I was thinking about it. But it's just like being tactical. It was really, uh, it really made you think compared to like an RPG like uh, Final Fantasy or something like that one where you could literally just, you know, grind your way through. These are like, you have set battles so you gotta be a smart and you can't just leave somebody in the dust otherwise they're gonna suck later down the road. TD flight, okay. Tesla drive. We have Tesla drives? Well, I mean, Tesla drive sounds more like a real thing than a Noski particle, so I guess it's all right. Uh, unknown approach, 11 o'clock, straight from the sea. They're coming from the sea? Uh, breaching range three, you know, responding to our warnings. Yada, yada, yada. They're coming our fast approaching. It's Zovark again. Okay, so. Error team formation. So I am going to stick my plan where I'm going to separate all these guys and form Voltron right away. And then we're gonna just going to move out in groups of twos and threes and... I think I'm about transforming this gunner into a boxer type if I can, because it, it can transform. I think it gets more strength if it's in boxer mode. So, um...
Deploy. Uh, only urchin? What, is the urchin the ball of the super robot universe? Okay, so if these guys are all thinking, like, how could they possibly defeat us with that one? There is some bull about to go down. Okay, by two turns, defeat at least three enemy units. Oh, man, that's going to be tough, simply because we are so far away. Okay, I might stick to keep them in flight mode then, because we get further... Uh... I'm sorry, I completely brain farted there for a second. I'm going to keep them in flight mode, because we get further uh, mobility with that. So, but you... need to ungroup. Can I move you here and merge? What? Did I screw this up? No, these guys are all in here. Do I have to unmerge all of them? There we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. And this is how I pick it. Okay, we're going to merge this to the. Yeah! So he's going to be behind us one turn, but you know what? Worth it. Oh, they can't move. All right. Apologize, my phone. I probably should have shut that off or put it on silent before I started playing this game. <laughs> the water trails is a cool effect. It's a, it's a nice touch. Okay, I don't think we're going to kill two guys, mainly because this is going to be tough because they're not coming to us. Like, there was almost, there was no way we could have reached these guys in one. This is, this is turn two. So we had to actually kill them now. Well, I mean, how was I supposed to do that? They're, I couldn't get in range in time. These guys are running. So I call bull on that one. Like defeat three enemies in two turns, but it took two turns to get across the field to where they can actually hit them. Okay, so we're gonna try to not be stupid. Oh, are there two of them? I think there are, because he's got 35 and 14. Are these combined units? Ah, but T-Link Slider! I mean, Ing's overpowered, but at least this time he's with another person, so he won't get all the XP himself. Huckabean? What does that mean? This is gonna be close. That's a crit. Damn! Did, did those... Do the enemy robots have boobs? I mean, I'm not seeing that. You guys see that too, right? They... They... Mine's playing tricks on me. Well, this should kill him, so it shouldn't matter. Rapid fire mode. Oh. The effect on those guns is awesome. I love it. I love everything, almost everything about this game. The robots are cool, the attacks are cool, the animations are great. And kaboom. Well, they're definitely the Zovark because they got Bioroid pilots. Which is how you get around the whole pesky murdering thing. And <laughs> she's just like, Antonia, level up. You learn no skills, but you know what? Good for you. Yeah, we can get an assist attack from here. Oh, Blade Tompas. I, I forgot about those. Those. Those be good. Ooh, 76, and they can really attack back. Let's give it a shot. I mean, the Blade Tompas are insanely powerful. Once again, animation rocks. Those enemy robots totally have boobs. There's no way that was not intentional. And the crit. A class target in range. Whoa, they can just summon lasers out of their hands? Whoa, that's bad. That's all we got. Okay. So this is gonna get three attacks off. See how this works. Oh, 
Maybe I should not have merged into Voltron until I got into closer range. Well, they're dead. There's two units. Does that mean our support attack goes to the second one? Hey, quit attacking me, Al. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and you go here. You should be able to attack somebody from this distance. They don't appear to be engaging us, so... Oh, we are underwater. I didn't realize that till now. Because it looks just like everything else. So we're underwater, he's in the sky. So we literally just jumped out of the water to beat the crap out of him. Oh, that was close. This is actually a pretty decent chance of hitting us. So I'm a little worried. Oh, thank God. We are fine. Okay, so with this seven and seven, we just got level up. So, Blade Tonfas. Oh, it's only a 76% chance of nailing them. But if it does nail them, they are going to get messed up. Come on, come on, come on. Take them out, take them out, take them out. Damn it. Oh, don't tell me she got hurt. Nah, they missed her. Okay, good. All right, then you. Yeah, you're hosed. Once again, ah, oh, the cool guns. This should totally kill him. Yeah. Oh man, that is a definite crit. We get a lot of criticals, which is uh, which. Not complaining. Were we under leveled? Is that what happened? A graviton rifle. These are both all attacks, so they should hit both of them. Let's see what happens when we attack all of them. Yep. Oh man, these... I don't know, I just coincidentally, I think, put these two together, but they seem to be a really good combo. And number two. <laughs> Those two were like, oh, we, su we survived. Oh, shit. Kaboom! That was a whooping. All right. She gained two levels in one sh shot. Fantastic. Oh, they're actually turning back to attack us. It has a 4% chance of hitting us. Once again, the uh, suicidally Dane stupid AI is attacking us. I mean, even his goals like drain her energy down, we we're maxed out on everything, so it's not like it's gonna hurt us at all. Yeah, it's an end mode, you'll never hit him. And death. I imagine you guys are these are actually just weak bad guys. Seriously? Uh, we got things stronger. Ask and you shall receive it. Have I seen this one before? You know, even a 6% chance can hit you. It's just very, very low. Slash and shoot. Good strategy. Oh, man. Whoa. Okay, I, that is new to me. Oh my god, that is freaking awesome. And effective. New favorite mode, I'll say that much. 
And dead. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna dodge. Because I I don't want to kill all these guys ourselves. We want to spread around the experience points. There we go. Thank you. Maybe we had nothing that can hit them, huh? Is it a new attack for them, at least? I can't tell. Or is it just, yep. Whoa. Well, it looked cool, but it wasn't all that effective. Well, now they just got right in our range. Uh, so attack. Okay, we're going to defend. We got 50 50 shot getting hurt here. But new enemy animation. Let's see how this goes. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that was nothing. But you are counterattacks gonna do more damage than that. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh. That was cool. All right, let's see what happens. Two rounds of ki of like little little puny Vulcan busters. That was, that was your best shot. You had one chance, enemy, and you wasted it. Are we like the best outfitted unit in the entire like space mo space military? Because if we're just average, we seem to be severely outclassing everything we come across. Our telekinesis and our laser weaponry and our photon cannons, and I mean, we're just decimating everyone. Like that, that was one hit. Oh, come on, that couldn't, that couldn't trail to the second guy. Yeah, whatever, we killed him. He's gonna get hit, but he's got tons of life, though. I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid of him dying. He's in a freaking tank. His accuracy sucks, though. But other than that, he's fine. Yeah, I think a rocket-powered knuckle. That's old school, there, right, baby? Oh, right in the face. And the explosion? Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Can Voltron please get into attack range? Damn it. Okay, you guys can finally attack though. Uh alright, link cannons. I'd like you spirit every time I use this thing because it never has enough hit to actually hit these guys on its own. Damn it, it's effective. G Impact Zapper. I do not believe you've seen that one yet. Probably because it's at the end of the spectrum. 67. 82. Okay, one way or other, this thing's going down. 80%, but this is a new attack, so let's see how it goes. This is like her ultimate ability. Who's going first? Oh yeah, there it is. Whoa. Oh damn, oh my god. Oh, well, yeah, he's dead. It went through hit through him, past the planet, on the other side, and killed somebody on the other side of the freaking core. Oh my god, is it making a black hole? Dear Lord. No wonder you gotta power that thing up with some resolve. Jeez. And he gets the team thing slider on top of that.
I think these two may be a little bit of an overpowered combo. I might have to split them up and put them with two other units. Ooh, Chompam armor. Perfect. For one turn, our hit becomes 100%. So that means this says, uh, this will not miss. Oh, man. Triple actions? Whoa. I have not seen this before. Holy hell. This may be slow, but it packs a freaking punch. <laughs> I just love the eclipsing shadow across the enemy unit. The shadow of impending doom that just looms over him. <laughs> Nice. Okay, yeah, you stay there because you're, you're level 9. Two guys left, so can you guys finally attack something? Yes, you can. We got the blade kick. Finally, Voltron can go into action. It's strong, but it's not going to kill this thing. Almost. All right, let's just attack and see what happens. I'm trying to even out my experience points amongst the amongst the crew. Like that shouldn't kill them. Hopefully, no, not level up though. Okay. Well, the ship's gotta get level up too. So can I attack? We have a good chance of hitting these guys. Let's see what happens. And the chafe grenades too, so... It brings down their accuracy a crap ton. But they'll probably even miss. Oh, yeah. Nothing ever misses the ship. Level 8, level 7, level 8. Perfect. Okay, so... Yeah, I need to kill somebody with Voltron. I know it's the, S I know it's the, the SRX, but I like calling it that. Ugh, I defend. Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, we counted. I didn't defend with both of them. Oh, I accidentally killed it. All right. The enemy, the enemy signals have disappeared, so most likely we killed them all, sir. Turn on board while maintaining full alert. Japan, offshore of Kozu Island. Yes, we have. What is that? The problem pointed out by the commander is very relevant. But... You should be focused, Sean, to now you verify the attacker's purpose and their assault. That is true, we have no idea what these guys are actually after right now. Like, they keep attacking us, but we have no clue, like, what the guys on the moon's ultimate goal is, what the hell these things are, what that thing that came out of the gate was, what those freaking things that took control of their units up in space were. We have absolutely no idea what's happening here. Absolutely no idea, and I love it. Um, okay, so, let's see, we got parts. So, let's take something like, uh... Okay, she got rocked pretty bad. Wait, so, wait, who was getting hurt? It was her. She got hurt. Okay, so let's see. We got the armor. See, so this one gave us a better mobility. Let's see, this gives us... Whoa, that's actually really good. You take that. Thank you. Yeah, because I always, I always decouple her so they can form Voltron, so we'll do that. Oh, did we get a new one? Oh, no, we already had that one. This is the one we never really used, I think. So we got $60,000 with which to upgrade stuff. And, of course, we got, thing we got more parts to upgrade stuff. No, it's just that one. Okay. So, okay, so we got the, we've got we got that part. So I got some... Ah, this, dude, the the bonus objective in that one's crazy. Two turns? I couldn't even get across the map in two turns, let alone kill anybody. Oh, God. I call it bold. That, that's one of those ones that's just like, I don't know how you're supposed to do that, unless you, like, max out your mobility. Put everything in flight mode and just charge. But that's something I have to know in advance. But anyway, making good progress. That fight, I mean, I was worried that we may have underleveled some guys and things like that, but... 
that was a comical steamroll, so we're doing great. I'm, I'm feeling like this game's gonna turn around and we're gonna be able to just go through, because like last time was hard because we couldn't kill everybody, so we had to weaken them down. Before that, it was a hopeless boss fight that we just had to stall on. The last two, the two ones before that were both like that, so this was actually good to get back into taking out bag, taking out the enemy with extreme prejudice and we saw a crap load of new attack animations, which is fantastic. That's the best, that's like the best part of this game. They're beautifully, lo they look beautiful. When they hit and connect, they feel powerful. It's just great. But, once, uh, but I'm going to end this episode right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you like all my videos, feel free to subscribe. No pressure. If there's anything I want to play and they are doing better, let me know. I'll do my best to accommodate. And I'll see you guys later.